Welcome to the EBSCO ERIC basic search tutorial. Use the control bar at the bottom of the page to pause the tutorial at any time. You may need to use the scroll bars to position the page correctly on your screen. Use speakers or headphones if you wish to listen to the audio. ERIC Education Information Resources Centre provides full text of more than 2,200 digests and information about 1,000 educational and education related journals. ERIC indexes two databases, ERIC Current Index to Journals in Education, which describes journal articles from over 700 education and education-related journals, ERIC Resources in Education, which identifies documents such as research reports, program descriptions, instruction materials, etc. This basic search tutorial covers the following. Basic keyword searching, using OR, using AND, using parentheses, truncation, interpreting search results, opening full text results. If you already know how to do this, go back and choose Advanced Search. Enter search terms in the Find box much as you would when doing a Google search. Choose terms that are as unambiguous and specific to your topic as possible. Scenario we're teaching a social studies course and are wondering if a web quest would be a pedagogically sound activity for our students. We enter our search terms, web quests, social studies. EBSCO automatically adds AND between the terms when we do a basic search. That means the resources it finds should contain all four search terms. Our first search yields only two results, so we need to make some changes to find more results. We are not sure if WebQuests is the correct spelling, so we'll add WebQuests with OR. This should force Eric to search for articles that use either spelling and increase our results. Our revised search yields 25 results. Let's look at the first hit. Clicking on the title opens the full record. Clicking on an author's name opens a list of all the articles they have written that are indexed in ERIC. The source contains all the information we need to cite the article in our bibliography. Note that the record tells us that this journal is peer-reviewed, which also means it is suitable if our instructor asked for academic or scholarly publications. Clicking on the journal title opens a list of all the articles in that journal. The descriptors are the subject terms under which the article is classified. Clicking on a descriptor will open a list of all the other articles in ERIC with the same descriptor. The abstract is a short description of the contents of the article. Note that the search terms are shown in bold font. This tells us which terms the database has used to search. It also reveals that sometimes databases don't search in the way they say they do. Notice that EBSCO suggests other search terms to use, although in this case they don't make much sense. To try to force Eric to find the words social studies together, we will put them in quotation marks. At this point we need to use a somewhat more advanced technique. Eric searches terms from left to right unless we change the format. We'll put WebQuests or WebQuests in parentheses and follow it by AND Social Studies. This should force the database to search for WebQuests and Social Studies followed by WebQuests and Social Studies. Adding parentheses reduced our number of hits, so we'll try adding truncation to see if we can find more results. We truncate words by adding an asterisk to replace letters at the end of the word. This forces the database to look for words with the same root, but different endings. In this case, we will replace the S at the end of both spellings of WebQuest so that it will search for the singular and plural versions of each term. We will also put WebQuest in quotation marks to try to force EBSCO to search for the two terms together.
This improves our number of hits to 16. This article is not available from ERIC. Click on the Check for Availability link to see if TWU has it in another database. If it's not available through TWU and you really must have it, click on the Interlibrary Loan link to begin the process of requesting an interlibrary loan. This article is available full text as a PDF. Click on the link to open it. We can then save it to our computer, print it, or read it online. This result is an ERIC document. Clicking on the link opens the document. In this case, it's a PDF. This ends the EBSCO ERIC basic search tutorial. For more search techniques, go to the Advanced Tutorial.